agency have played in helping to get Europe to avoid greater troubles has been very helpful. Shenanigan! And I think it is striking that you are getting criticism, particularly on the Republican side, but some from people on the left, uh, for a series of very constructive actions. Shenanigans! So I just want to express my support for what you have been doing with the swap agreement and in other ways, because the greatest threat to the American economy at this point is in Europe. I should note, by the way, thanks in part to what we've been doing here. Shenanigans! Right. While there are problems, the American economy, I think, is the best performing economy in the developed world right now of any size. Shenanigans! And you have been helping that, and the, the, the attacks on what the Fed has been doing to try and keep you from continuing to encourage the right kinds of things in Europe are about as disastrous a, uh, a prescription for American policy, and I, I, I hope you will continue to ignore them. That does it! Shenanigans! Shenanigans! What are you doing? I'm declaring shenanigans! Dr. Paul? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Bernanke, if you don't mind, would you tell me whether or not you do your own shopping at the grocery store? Yes, I do. If that is true, then your declaration of shenanigans is just. Okay, so you're aware of the prices. But, you know, this argument that prices are going up about 2%, nobody believes it. You know, and the old CPI says prices are going up at 9%, so they believe this. Shenanigans! 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 What's all that? If people on fixed incomes, they're really hurting. The middle class is really hurting because their inflation rate is very much higher than the government tries to tell them. And that's why they lose trust in government. But, you know, this whole idea about prices and debasement of currency, if, I, if uh, you loan me $100 and in two years from now I gave you 90 back, you'd be pretty upset. But we hand back, back money back that's worth 10 or 15 or 20 percent less, and, and, and nobody seems to be able to do anything about it, but it's very upsetting. But it's theft. If I don't give you your, ten, your full hundred dollars back, if you've loaned me a hundred dollars, somebody, I'm stealing ten dollars from you. So somebody's stealing wealth, and this is very upsetting. People, people, calm down. But you know, um, Last in January, at one of your press conferences, you said that uh, you sort of poked a little bit of fun at people uh, to downplay the 2% inflation rate. But if you say it's 2 and I say it's 9, it's compromised for the sake of argument that it's 5%. That uh, you said that if, if it doesn't hurt you unless you're one of those people who stick the money in, in the mattress. But, uh, but where are you going to put it? Are you going to put it in a CD and not make any money at all? So this, this, doesn't, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't encourage the savings, and it just uh, discourages people. That does it! Shenanigans! But I do want to make a point about prices, because prices go up. That, to me, is not the inflation. It is one of the bad consequences of the inflation, which comes from the increase in the money supply. And that's one of the bad effects. But, you know, you took over the Fed in, in 2006. I have a, a silver ounce here. And this, this ounce of, uh, of silver back in 2006 would buy over four gallons of gasoline. Today, today it'll buy almost 11 gallons of gasoline. That's preservation of value, and that's what, that's what the market has always said should be money. M money comes into effect in a natural way, not in a, an edict, not by fiat, by governments declaring it, it, is, it is money. But standing out here yelling rabble, rabble, rabble isn't going to help anything. But we don't know what else to do, Mayor! Rabble, 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 rabble. But uh, why, uh, why is it that we can't consider, you know, the two of us an, an option? You love paper money. I think money should be honest, constitutional, still on the books, gold and silver, legal tender. Why don't we use it? But why don't we allow currencies to uh, run parallel? They do around the world. I, my, one of my options, uh, you know, as much as I would like to do something with the Fed, I say the Fed's going to self-destruct eventually anyway when the money, when the money's gone. If that is true, then your declaration of shenanigans is just. But why, why wouldn't we legalize competing currencies? Why can't, couldn't people say Put, put this in a mattress and get four or five times much of the value in a few years. So the record 
of, of, of what you've done in the last six years is destroy the value of real money, uh, of, of paper money, at the same time real money is preserved. If that is true, then your declaration of shenanigans is just. But a competing currency, we ha already have a, a silver eagle, it's legal tender for a dollar, and some people say, well, it's legal tender, it's a dollar, it's on the books, and they use it, and they get into big trouble. The government comes and closes them down, and you can get arrested for that. People, what do you think we need to do? But what would be wrong with talking about parallel currency and competing currencies? This is something that Hayek talked about, something that I think would be a compromise, and that we could uh, work along those views. Uh, first of all, good to see you again, uh, Congressman Paul. <laughs> Shenanigans! Um, just one word on the inflation. Um, of course, those numbers are constructed by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, not by the Fed. They're independently constructed, and I think they're done in a very serious and thoughtful way. Shenanigans! Um, on alternative currencies, um, nobody prevents you from holding silver or gold if you want to. It's perfectly legal to do that. And you're also happy to, it's also perfectly fine to um, hold other currencies, uh, euros or yen or whatever else. But, so in that respect, you can do that. And, and I'd be happy to talk to you about but, but, other options. Shenanigans! 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 But Mr. Chairman, that's not money. I mean, when you pay taxes to buy a coin or you have a capital gains tax, when it's not, if you have to settle a lawsuit, it's always settled in depreciating Federal Reserve notes. It's never settled in, in the real contract. So that's nothing near money uh, when, when it's illegal to use it. But to do it, you'd have to repeal the legal tender laws. You would have to legalize this. You'd have to get over the sales taxes. You'd have to get rid of the capital gains taxes. People, even in Mexico, they're talking about this. They're trying to have competing currencies. They've been wiped out too many times with inflation and wipe out the middle class. They're allowing people to start to save in a silver currency. So uh, I hope we move along in that direction because there shouldn't be any, uh, uh, you know, overwhelming changes all of a sudden that there could be a transition people could vote on it. Well, that settles it. Everybody grab a broom. It's shenanigans.